In Dnipro, a local woman sheltered 20 internally displaced persons for free. She gave them two houses and two apartments to live in. The housing belongs to her and relatives. The woman registered at a local volunteer centre a month ago and left information that she could provide shelter to several families. Now, as many as six families from Kharkiv and Volnovaka thank her for her caring attitude. As I walked through this crowd, I saw such fear in people. They handed over children to complete strangers who can get them in the train. Tatiana, a 62-year-old woman from Dnipro, says she was shocked by the sight at the train station. Trains full of refugees arrive from the east every day. Without hesitation, Tatiana went to the volunteer centre, said she had space to shelter and left her contact details. At first, it was one family. They came and lived. After a while, they called back and asked if their relatives could come. In just a few days, Tatiana moved six families to her apartment, her brother's apartment, her daughter's and her mother's houses. We sat in Kharkiv for about a week hiding in the corridor. As a result, we tried to leave when we got tired of listening to explosions. Volunteers from Kharkiv helped us. For several weeks now, Kharkiv residents have been living with the refugees from Volnovaka. There are five of them, parents with child and grandmother with grandfather. There were shots and explosions. A military plane flew over us. A shell hit the entrance of the house. The vestibule was broken. The windows in the apartment were broken, but the walls were intact. And the house of the parents was destroyed greatly. There was little left after the bombing. People are happy to finally have shelter. They've already registered to stay in Dnipro. Complete strangers in Europe meet us and give us shelter. We have to help out people as one big Ukrainian family. We have already decided we will live together until the situation is settled. Since February the 24th, more than 18,000 IDPs have registered in Dnipro. People are mostly from Mariupol, Kharkiv and Volnovaka. Homeowners who provide free housing to refugees will be able to receive 450 hryvnias per month from the state for each person. All such offers are available on the website Shelter. Sofia Bogusta, Yaroslav Sheko, Vigna Programme, STB, United News.